Today we are going to explore some of the unique features that Paragon offers through their Power Search tool. You can find that in the upper left hand corner on the home page of Paragon. You can see that there's a blue question mark uh, right to the left of the, of the white bar here. Um, the Power Search, most times um, agents are going to be using that to search MLS numbers and listings. So by simply typing in an MLS number, you will be able to find that listing. Um, you can type in up to 10 different MLS numbers in the Power Search, separated by a comma, and you'll be able to, to look at those 10 unique listings. But there are some other unique features that can be utilized through the Power Search tool. Uh, one of those being uh, save searches. That's probably one of the easier ways to, to find uh, a save search you have for a particular client. So for instance, let me go into the Power Search and I'm going to type in Huntsville. Now, what you'll see, the very first uh, result option is my save search, which I have named a save search called Huntsville 500K. So that pulled up. Now you'll also see by typing in Huntsville that it pulled up uh, listings with the name Huntsville in the street name. Uh, so that may be a unique um, way to find some, it also shows uh, offices with the name Huntsville in there as well. So again, save search, that's a great way to find a save search. Uh, you can also find contacts in there. So let me, um, for instance, let me go into uh, power search again up here, and I am going to, in this case, I'll type in Ward. Okay. Now, again, what it's going to find is all listings with Ward in the street name, but there you'll see that I actually have a contact, Michelle Ward, and that popped up. Now, even further, any member name with the that has Ward in their name will also display. So unique ways to, to find some unique information rather quickly in a power search. Um, again, you can find offices in there as well. One of the a neat feature uh, that you can utilize is a list price range. So uh, in a unique scenario where you may have a client who has been looking for properties and they say, you know, I don't remember uh, the city or the street name, but I just remember it had a unique price. It was... Be uh, right between 255000 and 256000 Well, one of the neat things you can do in Power Search is type in 255000 hit the dash, 256000 and you're going to see that uh, by clicking on listing, there will be 10 listings that pop up, and you can kind of go through and say, uh, was this in Huntsville? You said, yes, well, there are two properties that are active um, in Huntsville right now. Uh, you know, here's a great way of maybe finding a unique property just price based on the list price range. Let's go ahead and click off uh, the power search. We'll go back and remove that. One other last thing you can do is a wildcard search. So if I were to type in WAR and then hit the star key, you'll see that there's some street names with WAR in there, anything ap after uh, WAR, they could proceed after that. So Warren, Warrior, Warrington showed up. Again, my contact of Ward and, and members, as well as offices. You can see Warranty came up in there. Warehouse, WAR was in there as well. So again, hopefully that's uh, some unique ways to find properties uh, for clients or save searches, members, um, a list of different things that you can find beyond just your typical MLS number search. Hope that's been helpful. You can find other tutorials by going on to har.realtor under the education tab and looking at trainings on demand. Thanks very much.